What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to talk about getting Chrome OS on any device. Well, it's not going to be necessarily Google supported Chrome OS, but it's going to be pretty damn close. Um, what this is, is you're going to see it's going to be called Cross. Well, it's actually C-R-O-S, Linux. And this is going to be kind of a similar version to uh, the Chromium browser. So if anybody knows what Linux is or have ever had an opportunity to dig around in Linux, uh, you're going to know that the Chrome browser isn't really the main browser as far as it when it comes to Chrome and Google. Uh, there's actually going to be a Chromium build. And that is going to be where actually the developers of the Chrome browser go to do a lot of their testing and a lot of their bleeding edge developments. And so if you've ever messed around on Chrome OS, you'll know that the entire Chrome OS is built around the Chrome browser, whereas this cross Linux is going to be built around the Chromium build. So technically, you could even say that there's going to be some more bleeding edge stuff in this than there could be in the Chrome OS side of stuff, but that's not necessarily going to mean everything. Uh, so as you can see in this, as you scroll on down, uh, you're going to see some of the stuff that they've kind of put in here. Now it's not going to look exactly like that. Uh, I do have another video on the page that you can go ahead and go check out that talks about uh, Evolve OS. Now it's a Linux distribution I'm not going to recommend to install just yet at the time of this video. Now if a few months have passed since you are since this video is created, by all means you might want to go ahead and check it out. Uh, it could be probably ready for you. Uh, but the reason why this isn't going to look like that is because you can see that the Cinnamon desktop is right there and it's going to be based on that. And so uh, what you're going to see, there's also going to be NSYNC Beta, which is going to be supporting our Google Drive, which is something that us Linux users have been dying for for the longest, longest, longest time. So it's nice to see that. Uh, it is running on a very, very old kernel. Uh, but... That it doesn't mean anything. Uh, we're going to see we're going to have the GIMP, we're going to have the Wine, we're going to have everything kind of in here. Cheese, which is going to be a webcam app. Uh, Wine, which is going to let you play Windows emulator based stuff. So if you have any EXE programs, that's how you're going to use that. Pigeon is going to be an instant messenger such as uh, for a few different uh, clients such as your Google Chat. Uh, I believe Twitter you can get in there. I don't know if I think IRC is in there as well. Uh, you're going to get a dashboard with social media toolbar, or sorry, a social toolbar. Uh, it's really fun, really uh, neat. Uh, let's see if I can go into the screenshots and see if they have any updated screenshots as well. Uh, looks like they only got one screenshot in here. Well, anyways, that's just that that doesn't really matter. Uh, so you can just kind of get over here, head on over here. Uh, the way you'll install it is the same way as you would install any type of distro or really any type of operating system. You need something called a dot ISO. Uh, created onto a live USB. Now, what is a live USB? A live USB is essentially, uh, if you're an older individual, and when I mean older, anybody probably over the age of 27-ish, uh, you're going to remember back in the day that we used to get uh, uh, disk installation disks for like Windows and stuff like that. Well, that's actually an IO, uh, ISO file that's on that disk, and that's essentially what's happening here. So you're going to see right here that you need a live DVD or USB disk image to give it a try. Uh, it's extremely easy to do, depending on if you're going to definitely need another, um, uh, sorry, another computer to do this. Or if you're on Android, you can try to download this directly onto your Android device and use a one of my favorite programs which we call drive droid it is free to use you will need to be rooted though and you can host any type of linux distro on there as a essentially a live usb drive just directly through your android device so you can you know bring your favorite distro on the go wherever you go it's really really nice i use it all the time i highly recommend it uh, but again yeah just go ahead and head to the link which i'll have in the description come check it out now that's going to be for everybody that wants to install this on maybe a windows based device or was essentially a windows based device uh, you can put this into a dual boot uh, go ahead and research that depending on your you know what operating system you're running to get that up and running and you know that's it uh, if 
always, you know, you're going to see there's going to be a link here for the Google Plus page. It's probably where you're going to find some more up-to-date information. Again, it all depends on when you're watching this video. As we know, YouTube videos can hang around for years and years. So I don't want you to think that this is going to be updated if you're watching this and it's been a year down the road. Uh, Linux is constantly updating, evolving, just as all uh, operating systems are. So, you know, make sure you just kind of dig around, check out, make sure you get all the, the newest features because who knows, as it's saying that there's new features here, such as the Cinnamon desktop, the Chromium, web browser and all that by the time you come over here and check it out there could be a dozen other new things added to it that'll really inspire you to want to try it out so that's all i wanted to say about this uh hopefully you guys get it up and running who that is looking to do this give it a try if you have a backup computer an older computer this is definitely something you might want to look into and have fun with it could revive that old computer that is lagging on windows um, and there you go so if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.